Auto POV. I want ice cream. Now? No, tomorrow. She said while pouting. Stop with your pout and wait here. I'm coming with your ice cream. Here they are spending their time with each other. Vyan and Jimin are college students. They are in their last year. And next month, they are graduating. They are dating each other from past four years. They are very happy. After college, they decided first to settle down in their career. And then they will think about marriage. Everything is going fine. But they are unaware of the storm which is coming towards them in an enormous speed and ready to destroy their every happiness. Here Jimin was coming towards her with ice creams in his hands but suddenly he saw a car was coming towards her with a high speed. Before he could say or react the car already hit Vyan and she fall on the road with caught off her head. Everything was happened just in a blink. Jimin couldn't process for a second that what was happened. When people started gathering and whispering, then he came into his senses and ran towards her. He put her head in his lap and started tapping her cheeks. Vyan, Vyan, open your eyes. Vyan, take her to the hospital. With that, he took her to the hospital. In the hospital, Jimin is standing outside the OT, waiting for the doctors to come out and tell him how is she. Still, his feet are numb. After one hour, doctor came outside from the OT and Jimin ran towards him. How is she? Is she fine? Calm down, boy. Now she is out of danger, but she has a deep injury in her head. And it's not first time. She got head injury. Her past wounds were also very worse and it's not good to get a hit at the same spot. But now she is fine, right? Yes, but she can get severe headaches and there are also some chances of losing some memory. But there are less chances of losing memory, right? As I said, some chances, but we can't say anything before she wake up. Don't lose hope, boy. She'll be fine. Can I meet her? Yes, but now she is sleeping because of the effect of medicine. She'll wake up in one to two hours. So now I should take my leave. I have to check other patients also. Call me when she wake up. Thanks, doctor. Jim and POV. Whatever doctor said, I couldn't pay much attention to it. Because all I want to see is my YN. I opened the door slightly and here I saw the love of my life playing on the bed, lifelessly. He just sat beside her on the stool and took her hand in his hands, slowly caressing it. His tears started falling down more. Then he put his head on the side of her bed, closed his eyes, letting all the tears out. After two hours, Arthur POV. Vine slowly started moving her hands and squeezing her eyes. By sensing the movement in his hands, Jimin opened his eyes and saw that Vine is gaining her consciousness. He quickly called the doctor. Doctor came and started checking her. But whole time, Vine just staring at Jimin's face. It's like she was zoning out. And when doctor speaks, she flinches. She's fine, but she has a deep wound in her head. As I said earlier, she can get severe headaches and it can affect her brain too. So let her take proper rest and give her medicines on time. Okay doctor, with that doctor left the room. What happened love? Is it hurting somewhere? Jimin asked being concerned by her gaze at him. But uh, your next words left him in a shock. Who are you? She asked in a low tone with a confusing face while Jimin gets stunned hearing her. What are you saying love? Suddenly Vyan's head started spinning and she screamed. What happened? What happened? 
he asked being concerned water i need water jimin gave her water he drank it after some time she relaxes herself what were you saying before shuddering jimin asked this because he got scared after listening her saying who are you he is afraid of losing her but what when said next made him relaxed what oh, jimin i don't remember my head was aching very badly huh nothing let's go i'll take you home you should take rest hmm when just hummed in response in wine's room wine pov what was that what were those flashes that came in my mind i always see these pictures in my dream but in my dreams they were blurry but in hospital i saw clear vision of that am i missing something are they my past memories but they didn't told me anything i have to ask my parents they are hiding something from me but they are out for a month that means i have to wait till then author pov when is very confused and tensed because at the time of accident and when she gain her consciousness she gets some of flashbacks of her past life and she don't remember any of them actually 5 years ago she wakes up in the hospital and her parents told her that she met with a brutal car accident and that's why she lose her memory and she believes them after that she didn't ask them about her past life cuz she didn't find anything suspicious but now she is seeing different scenarios in those flashbacks and she wants answers by thinking all this she slowly drifted into a deep slumber next morning when open her eyes and found jimin staring at her with very less distance between their faces she jolts up and sits straight what happened calm down oh nothing what are you doing here early in the morning nothing just came here to check on you how are you feeling now your head is okay yeah i'm fine now i have to get ready for the college what yesterday you met an accident and today you want to go to college no you're not going i'll not allow you and who are you not to allow me she said slowly but loud enough to reach his ears what are you saying i'm your boyfriend and when realizes what she said just jimmy don't take me wrong but it's the effect of medicine it just everything is irritating me oh okay he said in a sad tone i want to go out from here i'm feeling suffocated here okay but you have to stay with me okay boss time skips after one month in this one month wine fully recovered after some days everything was going fine between them but wine was behaving strangely at first he doesn't notice that but lately jimin started noticing her behavior but he doesn't give much attention to this but this behavior of hers increasing day by day present time jimin pov nowadays when started distancing herself from me her communication is also not much with me but today i'm going her home to surprise her and take her on a date and she'll be like before i can't be her silent treatment anymore author pov
he reached her home but her home was locked he thought maybe they have gone somewhere he called her but unfortunately her phone wasn't reachable he was leaving from there being all disappointed he thought to come tomorrow he thought he will see her tomorrow but all of his hopes shattered and next second when he saw a old lady entering wine's house with some luggage he thought she is wine's some relative but he didn't saw her before with that he ran towards her house asking the lady hello aunty i'm jimin do you know when will wine come actually i'm waiting for her lady oh the one who lived here before that girl name is wine what do you mean by before they sold this house to me a week ago and they shipped from here yesterday jimin was shocked after what he heard but he managed to ask her do you know where they left sorry but i don't know with that the lady closed the door his face turned pale negative thoughts started coming in his mind but leaving all those thought he started calling her but her phone was still unreachable after that he called her every single friend and all the people which know her but again all he got nothing but disappointment at last he reached his home he reached there being all broken it's like he lost a very important person of his life and why not he spent his four years with her he was like a body whose soul already left the body his state was very vulnerable at home his elder brother was waiting for him and when he heard sound of slow steps of him he asked being desperate hey where were you you know how much worried i was how many times i called you why were you not picking my calls he was asking all the things in rapid fire speed yet his eyes doesn't caught the vulnerable state of jimin because jimin's head was hanging low but seeing no response he asked him still unaware of his brother's state hey why are you all quiet okay now come here why are you standing there i won't scold you jimin's eyes were red his face was tear stained and new tears are finding their way why are you crying he just hugged him tightly and started crying loudly while saying him she left me she left me here all alone why she did it didn't she love me didn't she love me this was the only sentence he kept on repeating while crying why she left him what was the reason behind them and that too without even telling him what will happen next if you really like the ff then please like share and comment and if you want more content then subscribe my channel bora hai